You know, Tim, we're really living the good life at our apartment. A huge mansion like this must be a pain to clean. Hey, Tim, there's something on the floor by the window. Should we check it out? This window, uh, more feathers. Oh, what's all this? Pokemon feathers? Sure looks like it. They scatter all over the floor and the windows open. You know, blue feathers, cotton. It's Altaria. That's the culprit. Maybe a Pokemon got in or out through here. Do you think it has anything to do with the case? Hmm, look at this. One of these feathers is darker than the others. We're right, the other six are lighter shades of blue. Hmm, something about this is nagging on me. Can't look out the window. I bet these people don't have much to say. So let's see if we can talk to Barnes now. So, oh, do you have anything new to say? I take it that you hear from Mr. Dennis has to say. I'm guessing he also told you about his butler. He's definitely not pleased that Barnes are falling under suspicion. Sir, so seems that way. In my position, I'm not at liberty to share all the information we've gathered. But if there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. Thank you. The time of the incident. What was the situation in the mansion at the time of the incident? We're still looking into that. I'm sure we got more direct answers by asking the witnesses themselves. He's right. We should take this one step at a time and gather on our own intel. About Mr. Barnes. I was told Barnes is the police prime suspect. Well, circumstantial evidence certainly seems to be pointing in his direction. It doesn't sound terribly convinced. Does anything strike you as odd? But yes, actually, I can think of a single motive for Barnes to steal the jewel. He doesn't appear to bear any ill will towards Mr. Dennis, and he's in no trouble financially. That being said, you may uncover a motive in the course of an investigation. But for now, I can't say anything with certainty. Understood. I hear the Aurora Drop is an incredible, valuable jewel. The Aurora Drop's not just valuable, it's famous throughout the entire jewel industry. Then there must be plenty of people who like to get their hands on it. Could the jewel have been stolen by an intruder? I can't rule out that possibility, but based on current evidence, I'd say the likelihood of a burglary is low. About my dad. Um, Inspector Holiday, I know this has nothing to do with the current case, but you want to ask about Harry? Yes, do the police have any new leads on my father's whereabouts? I'm sorry, Tim, but we haven't made any development on the front. Oh well, thanks anyway. I still don't understand it myself. Harry was working on the R case when he went missing. So it stands to reason that if you follow that thread, we'll find Harry too. But the case has been closed and we still don't have a single clue. Seriously, where did Harry disappear to? Don't be discouraged, Tim. Look at how far we've come in the two years since you moved to the city in search of her father. You became such a great detective that the mayor himself recognized you with the award. You'll find Harry, I'm sure of it. And in the meantime, I'll keep offering whatever help I can. Yeah, we're right. Thanks, Inspector Holiday. And I talked to the girl. Who are you? The like a fable? There's a lot of people here. I want to see if I can talk with Growlithe first. Growl! It's Dennis' partner, Growlithe. She sure doesn't look happy. Growl! Apparently, she feels responsible. No wonder she's so down. Maybe you should leave her alone for a while? Do you have anything else to say? Ask me anything you like. About the symbol of revival. What makes the Aurora Drop a symbol of revival? Two years ago, during the R incident, 
my drawer shop suffered considerable damage. Wait, you were a victim of the R incident? Yes, some Pokemon who have been exposed to R went berserk. Their rampage destroyed my shop to say nothing of the damage done to my jewels and other goods. But that time, I already had the Aurora Drop, I kept the store safety in the shop. So was the Aurora Drop damaged too? No, as a matter of fact it wasn't. All of the jewels in my shop, the Aurora Drop was the only one to remain unscratched. In fact, the breeze fell so perfectly around the Aurora Drop that we might believe it was being protected. That's incredible. I guess there's some magic left in the world after all. Ever since then, the Aurora Drop became known as the drool that survived the R incident. People started visiting my shop just to see it. And thanks to all that attention, my business was able to get back on its feet. Sounds like a valuable jewel in more ways than one. What made you decide to bring it back to her mansion instead of keeping it at her shop? I decided to donate it to Rhyme City. The Aurora Drop? But why donate something so precious to you? It's not just precious to me, and that's exactly why I decided to donate it. Mayor Myers has done his part to improving our city by declaring the state of Pokemon Friendship Week. I thought it was about time I did mine. So I wanted to donate the jewel to survive the R incident as a symbol of Rhyme City's revival. I hope that by doing so, I can help liven up not just my shop, but the whole city as well. Well, Dennis, I'm impressed. That's a wonderful gesture. I'm glad you think so. Not everyone is so pleased about it. Oh? Ah, oh, forget I said anything. It shouldn't burden you with concerns over such person matters. You just give us a motive for it to be stolen. Tell us more information about that. For now, I'm counting on you to find a roll drop as quickly as possible. Understood. We do everything we can. Uh, can't look at the dog food bowl. Let's start talking with the cafe bowl. Oh, it's Cafable, Miss Dennis' partner Pokemon, apparently. Can I ask you a few questions? Beep. Whoa, what give? No need to be so rude. What's wrong? Seems like she's real suspicious of us. Maybe she's feeling sensitive about the incident here. That's all we gotta say? So you're Mrs. Dennis? You certainly don't look like you're with the police. State your business. Or detective, Mr. Dennis asks us to investigate the incident that occurred here. Detective? Oh, I suppose my husband did say something about that. Your husband? That must mean your Tim, I already figured that out. Claudia Dennis, Sanji's wife. I'm sorry to bother you, but do you mind if we ask you some questions? I do mind, actually. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. The case has already been solved. Uh-huh. Someone wants us not to investigate. She done it! She's the culprit! What do we mean? The police said that Barnes is behind all this. So the matter settled. We've heard that he's under suspicion, yes. But we can't be sure to him it was Barnes who committed the crime. You sound just like my husband. But nothing you say would change the fact that Barnes is the culprit. Barnes' partner, Ducklet, was up to no good. I saw it with my own eyes. Huh. Ducklet is blue feathered. Did you witness the crime? Barnes' partner Ducklet was involved in the crime. You look as though we don't believe me. While well, some sort of blue feather Pokemon was involved with this. But do Ducklets have much cotton on them? 
But there seems to be two blue feathers birds involved in this. About Ducklet, that's the most important thing here. Excuse me. Could you tell me more about Ducklet? Ducklet is Barn's partner. She dotes on him tirelessly and is always by his side. You mentioned earlier that she might be involved in the case somehow? Would Ducklet be capable of such a thing? Yes, she's even helped Barnes out with his shopping. She'd certainly be capable of making off with the jewel. Well, whether or not Ducklet stole the jewel, the one thing that seems certain is she, she really loves Barnes. About what we Excuse witnessed. Me? Is it true that we witnessed the crime? Well, I didn't exactly see it clearly. Hmm? But I did witness some irrefutable proof. What exactly did you see? At the time of the incident, I was enjoying a cup of tea in my room on the second floor. Just then, I noticed a bird Pokemon flying outside the window. A bird Pokemon? You know, is his wife not friendly with the Growlithe? Couldn't he see he stole the key? Why isn't the wife under suspect? Yes, I clearly saw a blue bird Pokemon. I, it had to have been Ducklet. We did find blue feathers near the window and on the storage room. So those were ducklets? There's definitely two different Pokemon feathers there. In hindsight, she was obviously stealing the jewel. I also heard a faint sound just before that. Like something metallic? Uh, ducklets don't have anything metallic. A metallic sound? Do you know what could have made that noise? No, I don't. But the storage room was ransacked, wasn't it? I suppose he must have broken something in the act. And I've heard it confirmed that Douglas feathers were found in the room. Isn't that proof enough that Barnes is the culprit? Hmm, she's pretty darn convinced in her own theory. But it's all based on this metallic sound in the sight of a flying blue bird Pokemon. Pretty flimsy if you ask me. Yeah. I'm sorry Miss Dennis, but that information alone isn't enough to definitely prove Barnes is the culprit. Then hurry up and find whoever is and get that drool back. Isn't that what my husband hired you for? Ugh. I get that she's upset, but but she doesn't have to take it out on us. About Excuse her husband. Me. Mr. Dennis seems confident that Barnes is innocent. Oh yes, I'm sure he is. He's always been too trusting. Especially when it comes to Barnes. Those two really trust others that much. I'm told Barnes have worked here for a very long time. Much longer, in fact, than I've known Sanjay. I suppose that's why Barnes is always taking my husband's side. What do you mean by that? Whenever my husband and I have a disagreement, Barnes inevitably sides with Sanjeev, even though I'm sure he believes he's being impartial. That lack of self-awareness is yet another one of his many flaws. I get the feeling Claudia is not a huge fan of Barnes. Do you think that's why she's so sure he's a thief? About the Aurora Drop. The Aurora Drop is an incredibly valuable jewel. Mr. Dennis told me the same thing. But do you really understand? Can you even comprehend just how valuable it is? Huh? I knew it. Just look at those blank expressions. Huh? My face always looked like this. Pikachu were not even looking towards her. It's obviously talking about Tim's. As it is, I'm not even sure my husband understands the true value of the jewel. After getting his hands on something so precious, why would he want to donate to the Rhyme City? So you're against donating the Aurora Drop? Of course I am. Treasures like that aren't meant to be paraded around for general public. They should be preserved for quiet observation by the select few. Hmm. <laughs> Hard to imagine her quietly doing anything. Who are you? 
Hello there, Detective Tim. So, oh, uh, I mean, Detective Goodman? <laughs> Tim's fine. Goodman was my father. Wait, are you the detective, right? That's what Mr. Dennis said, at least. My name's Ray. That's not proper enough. But sorry, my name is Larry Butts. I mean, Larry Turner. And I'm a member of the house at staff. House staff, huh? Seems in over his head. If you need anything, just let me know. I mean, please inform me if... You really don't have to be so formal with us. Uh, thanks, that's a huge relief. I got this job a while ago, but I'm still not used to talking all fancy. Oh, uh, it's our problem. Well, it's a good thing for me that Barnes deal with all the important guests. My main duties are taking care of the Pokemon, managing the house, and groundskeeping. And I can handle all that, no problem. I don't know, this guy isn't exactly filling me with confidence in his ability to do his job. Anyway, um, you want to ask about what happened, right? I mean, I already told the police everything I know. I'm really sorry for taking up more of her time. Oh, sorry. That's not what I meant. I'm not complaining or anything. It's just that I don't remember what happened very well. We were knocked out during the time. Huh, something attacked me out of nowhere and I blacked out. Something attacked him? So, not the thief then. Can you please tell us more about that, Mr. Turner? Sure, no problem. About the crime that took place. Right, so where to start? I was just doing my job like normal today. I made food for the Pokemon, did some cleaning around the mansion, that sort of thing. I think I was tidying the garden when it happened. I saw Ducklet fly out of a second story window. As I recall, I was wondering where she was going. I mean, usually Ducklet just walks out in the front door. It seemed weird to me, so I went upstairs to see what was going on. That's when I saw that the door to the jewel storage room was wide open. And if that wasn't shocking enough, the moment I went to look inside, I suddenly got punched by a Pokemon. There is a second Pokemon involved. The next thing I knew, I was lying on a sofa and someone was tr treating my wounds. A Pokemon punched you? Yeah, I feel like I glimpsed a small red figure for just a moment. A red Pokemon? I don't think we see any red Pokemon around yet. That's not clear enough for us to get an idea of what Pokemon it is. Based on the size, it couldn't have been human, so I'm guessing it was a Pokemon. A red Pokemon, do you know what kind it was? I'm really not sure, it all happened so fast. I see, I'm sorry that it happened to you, but I'm glad that we're, you weren't seriously hurt. <laughs> that what the doctor said too. No Pokemon would want to steal the Roar Drop. I don't know about that Pikachu, I'm pretty sure Sableye would like to steal any type of jewel. It's possible that the culprit ordered the Pokemon to swipe the jewel and punch out Turner. So Tim, now that we heard Turner's story, what do you think? We need to find the ducklet that flew out the window, and that red Pokemon too. Yep, you got it. About the culprit. Excuse me. Do we see anything else when the Pokemon attacked you? The thief who brought the Pokemon along was probably nearby. Unfortunately, that's all I saw. I see. Can we think of any other details that might give us a clue about the culprit? Hmm, nothing in particular is coming to mind. I mean, Mr. Dennis is such a nice person. I've never heard of anyone holding a gudge against him. And I was really surprised to hear that Barnes is a suspect. You don't think Barnes is responsible? I guess the police must have some reason to suspect him. But honestly, I just can't believe it. Barnes is still showing me the ropes around here. 
He's a great co-worker with tons of experience. I mean, if you know Barnes before all this, you could never have imagined him being a thief. About the Aurora Drop. Do you know anything about the stolen drill? The Aurora Drop? I never even seen a thing. If I've been shut up on the storage room ever since it was brought to the house. Of course, I know it's valuable and all. I'm assuming that what's been causing all the arguments between Mr. and Mrs. Dennis lately. What sort of arguments? In case you haven't heard, Mr. Dennis said he's going to donate the Aurora Drop. Seems like Miss Dennis is against the plan. They've been fighting about it almost nightly. Every night? It must really be a point of contention. I guess Miss Dennis really doesn't want to give up such a valuable jewel. Hmm, so the Aurora Drop's been driving a wedge between husband and wife, eh? Quit playing dumb! We've got evidence that proves you're the culprit! Yeah, did I scare you, Tim? I felt like practicing my interrogating. 